Who's been visiting your garden? Eric Spur would like to know. It's time again for the annual Garden Bird Survey. Well, 2010 is the fourth year of our Garden Bird Survey. The idea of the survey is to monitor populations of birds in our gardens and towns and cities. We do it in midwinter because that's a time of year when many of our native birds, such as bellbirds and tuis and kereroo and silver eyes, come into our towns and cities. What we're wanting to know is whether the populations of these birds are increasing or decreasing. We know quite a lot about some of our rare native species in forests, but we know virtually nothing about our native birds in towns and cities. Well, the first three years uh, data not really enough to show population trends in the long term, but we've had some very interesting results. Um, the first thing is that we found that house sparrows and silver eyes are by, are by far the two most common bird species in our gardens. Um, and secondly, that the populations of these species, the house sparrows, have increased over the three years, whereas silver eyes have decreased. Another result we've had from the first three years of the survey is that house sparrows have been much more common in people's gardens in the north of the country compared to the south. And on the other hand, silver eyes have been much more common in the south than in the north. Another result is that uh, people who feed birds have far more birds in their gardens than people who don't. Um, people feed birds a range of things from bread, fat, fruit, seeds and even sugar water. Um, people that feed sugar water for example have far more silver eyes in their garden than people who don't feed sugar water. There have been quite a number of unusual birds recorded in gardens. Um, stitch birds have been recorded in gardens in Auckland and in Wellington um, coming out of uh, areas where they've been introduced uh, into, the, into either the Waitakere Ranges or into Karori wildlife sanctuary. Um, some people have kaka come to their gardens and feed from feeders. Well people can get survey forms either over the internet from the, the Landcare Research website or um, through various societies such as Forest and Bird and Ornithological Society. So what we want to do is record the maximum number of each species we record at any one moment. So uh, even though you might see five blackbirds coming and going from your lawn during the one hour, if you only see one blackbird at a time, then you just record one blackbird. For more information about this year's survey, visit the Landcare Research website.